Now you're gonna make me do this all over again. Y'all let me know if y'all can hear me. That's Facebook be tripping, boy. I mean, they be tripping. They be tripping on your girl. <clears throat> can y'all hear me? Why I be forgetting to reset my phone? And one of my gems done fell. I guess I got mad. It's alright. Hey. Hey, sis. Hey. Have you got settled, uh, Miss Mag? I don't know where is Kai, but you know, <laughs> hopefully he'll pop in. <laughs> peace, bro. What's good? Yes. Peace, peace to the Middle East. Well, y'all, Ty probably chime in. I, uh, I don't text him, though. He probably don't see it right now. But... I do got some stuff I want to connect some dots on dealing with my trip that I had. Peace, peace. Peace, peace, sis. Okay. Now, getting just about right now. I know you happy because I'm happy for you. I'm ready to move. Ready to go. Oh, God. But you know. But I, I definitely want to get into the energy dealing with that, um... New Orleans trip that we had. Um, it was definitely an eye opener for me. It was definitely. Uh, I don't want to use transition. But uh, it definitely was a, a transformation. That I experienced there. Um, very eye opening. Okay. Very eye opening. I was emotional, but we'll get into that, okay? But I started realizing some stuff, you know, the more we was, you know, diving into NOLA energy and experiencing it. And y'all know I'm a seer, so I see a lot of stuff. Um, whew, give me chills now. But I see a lot of stuff. Especially when it comes to the land, um, when it comes to this experience. So I see some stuff that has transpired way before, you know, back in some different eras, ages of humanity. And sometimes I will see things that are actually... <laughs> Might be a hard pill for a lot tonight to accept, um, especially dealing with Nola. Um, I, I ain't been able to shake this energy since I got back, so I had to make sure I was gonna get it done, but I had to get some other stuff out the way first. But 
I don't want y'all to be mad for those who are in tune with certain things with NOLA. But I'm definitely going off of what I picked up and what I saw. And it, it's, it's some messages in here that, you know, that's going to be along with this, this life, okay? Um, definitely history. We're going we, we gonna to dive into some history, too, okay? I, I wanted to get what I needed, but it just wasn't coming out where I need to print it. But I remember it, so. I've been connecting a lot of dots since we came back. Especially with the waters there. The symbolism there. The history there. But most importantly... The feminine energy. Now we know feminine energy really isn't a gender, but we do symbolize it dealing with female. Okay? So I picked up a lot of that energy, very strong chiefess energy when I was there. Kind of rubbed me a little the wrong way. But we gonna get into it. So I kept picking up this feminine energy, and it's just it was like the way I was seeing it is ruling, very ruling. Um, you know, above the rest. All right, including male or masculine energy, but very ruling, controlling. In this area, I felt this feminine energy. When we was at the waters, <clears throat> um, I can't remember the name, so y'all please forgive me. But it's mostly, it was where we went that night, if anybody remembered, it's on the live. And we was right there by the docks and stuff like that. I think that was Friday night when we got there. So, that night, was it Friday night? Yeah, that was Friday night, I think. That night, I don't know, I can't remember. But, y'all, that night, of course, I was seeing so much within that water, okay? Just cover up um, to just be honest, just cover up. And the more I'm di I've, I'm seeing with this cover up, <laughs> the more I'm seeing with this cover up, it's just everything has been this experience. When you get into it, the human side of it, it's just a big cover up. All right, that was Saturday night. Okay, that was Saturday night then. Okay. So, I, when we were sitting there, you know, I automatically put picked up cover up with this water. You know, I was asking, bro, how long has this water been here? Because I don't feel like it's been here. Okay? And um, so, he was like, oh, no, it ain't been here. It ain't been here. That, that ain't been here long. I was like, okay, because I definitely was picking it up. But in the midst of that, you know, when we were sitting there, before I asked him that, I was seeing, you know, like, this revolution war that actually took place. Now, I've never looked up Louisiana's history. Um, I don't, I'm not familiar with it. So, I was picking up that revolutionary energy. And I was picking up, you know, it was two sides and they was fighting over this land. And But in the midst of all of that, that was the Mississippi, okay, that was the Mississippi River, okay. I was like, yeah, that was the first time we went to the waters. But, you know, in the midst of, you know, all of that, you know, seeing that war happen and stuff like that on land, um, I seen a woman in the midst of all of that. And that energy lingered on me for a minute because it just was very strong because out of the midst of all of the chaos, there was a woman that was in the midst of all of this, okay? And she was like of high standards. I mean, you know, like almost carried out uh, on a chariot, you know, like of royalty. 
I yeah, I had to ask, bro, when we're when we're there, cause I ain't know. Right. I, I didn't know either. So I, I dived into looking at that energy and find out it was a woman there in one battle dealing with the major revolution of Louisiana dealing with um the French um and the Russians. There was a woman that was fighting in combat and of course she was disguised as a male. Okay? But just even this deeper than that, it just showed me how strong even the name Orleans is so feminine. Nice. And it just was connecting me to a lot of feminine energy controlling a lot of strings. Okay? Rituals in a sense. Um controlling just a lot of moves that was being made. Not in just that area in New Orleans, but it just really just opened up my eyes to a whole nother sense of control past the masculine energy, if you know what I mean. Okay? Definitely the woman ruling all. Even there, when I told my bro, I said, you know, even with that war, and it's supposed to be, you know, we won. I mean, we lost because we was the indigenous people at that time. I'm not going to put everything out because I definitely want y'all to connect the dots. I connected a lot of dots, even dealing with the Italians, dealing with the Russians, dealing with the Creole people, dealing with the indigenous people, and finding out a lot dealing with the Indians, period. Okay? All in New Orleans, from that, just that New Orleans energy. Okay? It just really just showed me how much the woman is, how powerful she is, and how manipulating a woman can be. In New Orleans, there is a major woman there that they honor more. Okay? We all know who that is. Uh, Marie Laveau, Laveau, however you say her name. All right. Definitely was a woman that was um, powerful in the history of New Orleans, was powerful around the time of the Rev that war that took place dealing with the French. Okay. And uh, France, the French during the uh, versus the Russians. Okay. This woman is so powerful. She had a lot of pull amongst the community. Now, when I first was recognized with Marie, I was so fascinated about the hoodoo magic of her because that's really all I know about her. I mean, history has a lot to say with her, but Mainly is she's known for voodoo. Okay? So she's very, she's honored highly in New Orleans. We went to a store. I don't, I, I, it was supposed to be that store, Marie Laveau, but I kind of found out how they have many. Um, but I didn't find, find any connection to that. And normally, I would be wanting to have that connection to something that I'm actually interested in. And I just didn't have no connection. I didn't. What was unique is there were blue people there running it, of course. Um, a light people. I'm going to call them light people. Light people there, you know running it but I didn't have no connection to it and I wanted really to go to this though okay and then on top of that you can't really even go into her grave unless you pay to go to her grave uh, site okay it was just too much too much and I just realized through the research of it all <laughs> I'm taking my time to say this because I don't want to hurt nobody's feelings. But the truth of it all is this lady was a very good illusionist. Um, even connecting with this word voodoo. It's just all about illusion. When we tap into rituals and we want to do magic and voodoo and hoodoo. 
All right. Yep, very much a tourist shop. It is very much a tourist shop is what it is. But when we get into this type of energy, it's like, you know, we put so much power into what we want to believe in. Okay? Her story is very unique when you look past the physical aspect and understand vividly spiritually what this energy was projecting. Okay? It's all about what you put your energy into. All right? That's how we create energy, uh, create illusions. Okay? And that's how illusion is control. Okay? Control um, the energy. All right? She had a very role, important role in NOLA. A lot of people came to her. Even those who were in battle. Okay? It's a word that is coming to me. And it's showing me what it is. Um, mm. But it's like when one person believes something, then the next person believes it, and then a few more people believes it. Mast Masteria? Uh, uh, is it something like that? What is it? What is it? Uh, oh, it's something. That's the word. What is the word? But anyway, that is what it is. Okay? All right, coincidence of energy, what you project, what you believe in it, it happens. Mass hysteria. Thank you. I was putting it together. I was fucking it up. My bad, sis. <laughs> but that exactly is what it is. Okay. So when we believe, like when we do rituals, and then something happens, we like, oh shit, it worked. So we tell other people, and then they do it. Okay. And then it worked. And it just become massively a belief or, you know, or a religion or system that one depends on. Okay? When they want something to transpire. Okay? Same thing like religion. It's very heavy in New Orleans. Mm-hmm. Very heavy. I understand why. Okay. Oh, it really gets deep. Because we keep blaming <laughs> these light people. Alright. And Marie is supposed to be of colored woman, right? We just gonna leave it there, but it's it's more to that color woman that is gonna be exposed, okay? It's not what you think. But I'm gonna get. Oh yeah, I'm gonna let that go on down down the road for a second. But it's you know it's very deep <laughs> in New Orleans religion and stuff like that. And the reason being, you know, that dealing with the indigenous people and the land of the people and the fight for the land is what the Italians or the French and the Russians were fighting over. Okay. Which they thought that they was going to have control over the land. But the land was still of the people. And I don't know if a lot of people in New Orleans even know that. Because I was just definitely feeling all of that energy at the river. And I'm like, ain't nobody ever left here. This energy keeps repeating itself. It's a revolutionary energy. But it's in a, a energy of chaos. All right. It's in the energy of chaos. Religion wasn't just an agenda to be pushed upon people. If you know, you know. But if you don't know, our own did that. See, I don't think people will hear me or was hearing me before. When I say it's your own people, <laughs> okay, that started everything. You know you started everything. Okay? Can't be hypocritical, you know, and um, 
delusional when it comes to pointing a finger. All right. So Marie knew. Okay. The energy knew about this illusionary. Okay. This illusionist of the voodooist. Okay. Aspect. Always would say you have to believe. I used to tell people that all the time. You got to believe it. Okay. You got to believe it to retrieve it. You got to believe it to see it or receive it. You have to. So that's just how that shit works. Okay. Now I'm not. I don't want to say that the woman was anything of false. But I'm just putting out that that energy of that time dealing with that um, goddess, okay, that woman, the feminine energy of how manipulation takes course and that how woman <laughs> really is in control of this shit in, in, a, in a lot of ways, okay? Created a lot of this shit. But if you look up her name, all right, you'll see the connection dealing with her, and you'll see pictures of her. Now, these pictures is very com controversial <laughs> because they have different pictures of this one woman, okay, which is something else why I can't connect to this energy like I want to. I can't because I know what it is. She plays a big part in the history of New Orleans. But just be aware of the connections that Marie Laveau has. In New Orleans. Okay. Thank you, love. Definitely. I'm going to keep spilling this tea. I told y'all it's the year of calling out. I don't like to be the one to call out, but it just wasn't given. I'm sorry. It ain't given for me. I ain't trying to be funny. I mean, you rock, you rock with me, you rock with me. I'm going to be very, uh, op not opinionated, but I'm going to voice what I feel. And it's just, it wasn't given for me. It's just a regular, regular motherfucker that just had a lot of power. Okay? And when I mean power, I mean connections. All right? Even with the, the Russians, the Italians. The people of the land. Yeah. <laughs> it's just crazy how we keep wanting reparations from shit that we created. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you know, I got earlier that reparations is definitely just what you reap. You reap what you sow. So while we out here screaming and shit for reparations and shit like that, you getting what you sold back ten times for. What's keeping you clouded is because you're thinking it's a literal stance dealing with money. Okay? Dealing with this land. And not understanding the force of energy that you have projected into this whole thing from the beginning. Yeah, I know a lot of people don't want to hear it, but I don't, I don't, I'm, I'm not in, I'm, I don't care, I don't care. Hey, I've always said it, it's been you, okay, the whole time. So we're going to connect the dots, okay? We're going to connect the dots. Alright? I was seeing so much symbolism in NOLA. Alright? The three... Leaf, chief, chief is, okay, energy, okay, that trinity, that whole oneness, okay, tri-star, 
All right. I couldn't help but to see <laughs> the shit everywhere. And it has nothing to do with the Russians. <laughs> Not even. It has nothing to do with the Italians or the French or the European. It has nothing to do with them. It just showed me how much this land, <laughs> okay, how much this land was not even theirs to begin with. What this land is really about. All right? What if I told you your people is the one that gave that land? Okay? The reparations of that land. Okay? To the one that won the war. Mm hmm. See, there was a reason why I was a woman there. But I kept seeing it everywhere, they had it on gates. And all I kept seeing is the indigenous cap. Okay? You know, they look Indian thing. They, you know, what they wear, the chiefs wear, and it's got the three leaves and it's got the feathers. That's what I kept seeing all over the place. And now that I see it there, I see it everywhere now. It's not just there, it's just everywhere. And then we never even put the, the dots together to really why they really worship us like that in the Vatican. <laughs> you still the ruler of the, this, this energy, that divine divinity of it all. Okay, the darkness still controls it all. It, 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 there's nobody controlling this shit. All right, but you definitely can put in, and and you you will receive it back. The real genie in the bottle, <laughs> okay, it don't even exist here. Magic does not exist in the formation that people believe. Voodoo don't either. Religion don't either. We just put the titles and we put the energy into that and we create the images of that. Just like creating that image of Marie. All right. When I dived into her a little bit more, I'm going to give her just something else with that. When I dived into her and, you know, find the connections to the, the ones who taught her, thank you, Nikki, for giving me that information. Um, because when I dived into that and I dived into those names of those women and I, I connected that shit all the way back to some women that was called the uh the casket girls. <laughs> they were of light people, okay, and they knew all about voodoo and hoodoo, okay. I'm going to tell you where they got all this information from, too. Okay? So, of course, the, it goes connected. They, it connect, that, those names was connected to the women. Dealing with the uh, casket girls. And the casket girls got their information, okay, over in uh, uh, hey, uh, Haiti and uh, it's another one, uh, Saria, Saria, okay? Which a lot of Creole women come from, you know, got connections to their their bloodlines. But I realized <laughs> I had to go back to the Moors. And when I dig back towards the Moors, because the Moors do, okay. The Moors is hand in everything. Alright, which is 
of your people, your color. All right, our color. They have their hands in a lot of things. But beyond that is a woman in control of all of that. So I really didn't, I've been feeling tense, y'all, with this energy because it's just been connecting the dots with woman to woman to woman, okay? And understanding that how much pull that dark or feminine energy has still in existence today. All right, this is why women is not rising the way they should massively. Yeah, it's, it's not happening like that. All right, it's just a small quantity of us that's tapped into that. But the mission has always been to keep that energy down, to keep that energy hidden. Because that energy exposes all things. And in this due time, it is happening. Okay? That the, that the primordial waters is at, it has rose. Put it like that. It has risen. Okay? To a point where a lot of shit is starting to surface and come out. Okay? In different formations. Okay? It ain't got to be just new sea animals. It could be bugs. It can be new uh, levels of land. It can be just anything. Information as well. Okay? Even images. All right, so a lot of shit is already exposing, okay, because of the rise of the primordial waters, okay, not just around us, but all in us. That's just what we is. <sighs> it's, um... The whole, what they call it in school, the pilgrims and the Indians, which is dealing with the indigenous people. It definitely didn't happen the way that, of course, history predicts it. Of course, history is going to put a spin on it. All right. But you have to know that shit just so you can detect the lies and I've always said that before if you don't know the blueprint or the old blueprint or something you, you cannot be familiar with it you will not be able to see between the bullshit alright if you're just straight breathing just or breathing in just the spiritual aspect of yourself you're not gonna be able to identify anything on this physical plane Okay, but the whole pilgrims and Indian shit, which is dealing with the indigenous people as well, is is all a scam. That's a scam too. Um, <laughs> shit didn't happen the way they did. They said it, of course. Of course, it was two people coming together, but um, it was more of a settlement. See, what people don't want to realize and understand the reason why you're not gonna get reparations the way you think you should get them in this formation of money is because you've been getting them already. All right, you never gave up. We this this land was never gave up. All right, it was never gave to anyone. All right, it was never gave to anyone. We shared our gifts with light. As darkness does with light. Okay. What I put it, what I put it, what I put it. Alright. Yeah, we shared we shared everything that we've created with light. Just like darkness does. When it evolves, it it, 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 it the light evolves. Everything connects, okay? I know it's hard to believe and people probably don't want to accept that, but it is what it is. 
And you wonder why they're so afraid. A lot of them are still pushing down generational curses to be afraid. To be on high alert for colored people. Because if you find out the truth that you was the person that did everything and gave them, it gave life everything. Okay? Definitely would not be a, a pretty picture. <laughs> it's not going to be pretty. Alright? It's not going to be pretty at, at all. But this NOLA energy is definitely given feminine. And there's 5,000 rivers that go through there. Okay? I picked that. It was a lot of rivers, a lot of water flowing through that state alone. Okay? And then it's a shape of a root. I mean... I don't go by the maps because I know this shit don't look like that. But just symbolically, it, it's shaped like a boot. And I was on a plane, I didn't see it like this, so I don't know. All I seen was laying. All I seen was Pangea, you know, baby. But. It has a lot of rivers going through it. It's a lot of water already through Louisiana. And it's a lot of water that was used to even cover up a lot of things in Louisiana. Because if it wasn't covered up, it was just exposed the center point of everything of what it is. Alright? There is still a lot of How I want to put this. Division. There's a lot of division still in Nova too. Um, you know, the lows, the highs, the colors, the whites. It's, it's still a lot of division there. Um, mentality, mental wise, um, definitely. Um, <laughs> it's funny because color people are so, you know, they have a ag aggressive energy, but it's in a good way in, in NOLA, you know. And it could be, it wasn't too much for me, but it could probably be too much for somebody else. But it wasn't too much for me. But very outspoken. But the division between the mentality of dealing with those two, okay, races, it still is heavy in there. And I've experienced some shit that I didn't even realize. But see, down in the South, I experienced, you know, light people disrespecting the dark people, okay? From the south, that's what I see. And I finally got to experience how dark people, it was a dark per, a dark person, uh, uh, disrespecting a white person in a way that I would see it here in the south. So that kind of tripped me out. But it just shows, again, how much power is still there. Within the indigenous, the people of the land. And they don't even know that. Alright? Don't even know it. That's damn near everywhere you go. But, I definitely felt that so heavy there. And I've been to a lot of places. Hell, I've even been to Virginia. And I didn't feel that energy in Virginia. No. Okay? But I felt it over there. And that shit was just like out of nowhere. I've never experienced it in my life. And it's very eye opening, like I said. Um, the trees, all of that is just, oh my God, y'all, I swear, I feel like I was in a different time zone. I mean, not literally I was, but I was in a different place, <laughs> a different, uh, yeah, just a different place. Like, it just literally just was, yeah, it was a lot of eye-opening shit. But I realized that there are 
it is a, a city, a, you know, a state where it is a lot of fun, okay? And you can experience a lot of that back history there, um, especially if you're open-minded about it. And also, a lot of the shit just is hyped up. And it's, it's, it just wasn't cutting it for me. And that wasn't a bad thing because I enjoyed the fuck out of myself. But a lot of the shit, I just, it just, not a lot, a couple things just was hyped the fuck up. And once I really got in tune with it, and it wasn't about nobody that we was with, just overall, you know how people just talk socially, you know, just the world. But, because it didn't have nothing to do with nobody with us, but it's just a fact, you know, how people just hype shit up. Especially, oh girl. But, mm -mm, it wasn't given for me. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> that wasn't given for me, that part. And, understanding the energy that's going through NOLA. And understanding that the 5,000 rivers that flow through it. Alright, it was definitely giving me like a, you know, how Africa is a rooted continent. It was definitely giving me that energy. Um, and anytime I feel something that's rooted like that, that definitely deals with healing, that deals with the heart. Um, a lot of things happen in that space, that area. I don't know a lot of people might not be familiar with. But it's your own, it be your own fucking people. It be your own people. We unlearn a lot of shit, go through history. Only to go back and find out in the midst of the history, it was your ass from the beginning. It was darkness from the beginning, pulling the strings of everything, okay? Even with the Moors, even past the Moors, okay? Touching base with feminine energy, you know, goddesses, um, women, period. Like Beyonce, when women, ru ru uh, women run the world, she was definitely telling the fucking truth. That divine feminine energy is the starting point to everything. Alright? Even when it comes to personalities, even when it's you being taught to be a human, it definitely starts there. And that's all I could feel in that shit. Pieces! That's all I can feel. If anybody want to come up and add to it, y'all know y'all can come up. Especially the ones that went on the trip. You know. Or anybody that's been a NOLA. Shit. You know. Just. It's it's just. Yo. That shit. Just, to feel that shit all over again. Dealing with women. Or just dealing with that fem energy. That water. Boy, women, women, their, their energy is slicker than a motherfucker. Okay? Because even with Marie, she was messing with somebody outside, of course, of her race. Okay? That was also a part of the Russians. Okay? Mother as well. Okay? I mean, she wasn't, her mother wasn't messing with a Russian, but... <laughs> you know what I'm just saying? It was, it's a lot of mixed races... Also, in NOLA as well, too. Dealing with the indigenous people, the Italians, and the Russians. The Greek. Pieces! What's good? Even on Marie Thane, it's, it's speak about the Greek. I wish I could pull that shit up. Because even on her grave, it says something about the Greek at the beginning. Okay? And how all of this, basically just to sum it up like that, that hoodoo and shit is incorporated, okay, from the Haitians. I'm not going to say that. But anywho. <laughs> but anywho. I know y'all probably like, what is, what is it that you're not going to say? But, Haiti wonder why they get so much happening.
happened in Oakdale. That energy dealing with the Haitians. And you know the Haitians are connected to the Moors as well. Okay, those, those people, do yeah, they <laughs> study them Haitians. Okay, the ones that actually, yeah, study their background. Connect the dots, even with the Moors, okay, even with the earliest Jews. Connect them motherfucking dots, and you're going to always find you. And when every time we say you're going to find you, it, it, it turns out to be black. Yo, darkness. I it takes real people I ain't gonna say real people but real recognizing real is some real shit yo especially when it comes to this energy and, and when you had a certain awareness in your your mentality alright peace peace sis you know what I'm saying? When you're in a certain awareness in your mentality and you be seeing shit for what it is and you, you understand the reason why people we say is fake and all of this shit because you understand because you're seeing shit beyond that veil. You're seeing shit beyond the, the, the cover-up. Life is a fucking cover-up. Alright? And when you get underneath the cover-up, you have to come back to the surface of the shit and connect the motherfucking dots with it. So it's just like, you know, a lot of that shit just sparks up to me. Okay. It definitely gave me a boost. It definitely, you know, it's connecting the gave me this connect the dot shit. Look at the shit. Okay? Look at it in a standpoint as what I'm seeing is the motherfuckers wasn't doing shit. People praising certain people. For certain wisdom. You know what I'm saying? Or just enlightenment of rituals. And these people ain't doing shit. Yeah, they can create a ritual. Alright. Through the mental. And they can give, project that out. But it takes that energy to accept it. And that means that you have to, at some point in your life or in that moment, you have to believe it. So when a lot of people sometimes come to me about certain things about people putting roots on them, I'm not in the work of that. You know why? Because I understand the cause and effect. All right? Thank you, sis. Thank you for the stars. I understand the cause and effects in this shit. Okay? And for a fucking um, root to work, to transpire, okay, to develop, you have to mentally Okay, accept that. You got to believe it. All right? Just like school giving us the information, we had to tap into that to believe it, right? We had to believe that one plus one is two. Mm hmm. Seeing can be definitely believing. All right. So I'm just like, you know, a lot of the things that we had to go through, you go through when it comes to finding you. And when you're finding you, there's no image involved. Okay? There's no image involved. None. Nothing, just a pure abyss of darkness of just the cell, just the source. There is nothing. So understanding the images and the projections from others. Yeah. 
And understanding that you never lost the war. It's all about evolution. Which is a revolution. It's all about that. Revolving. Moving forward. And with all of that comes, <laughs> it comes some stories, okay? It comes um, cover-ups, all right, throughout the journey. So, that, that trip really took me to a place of emotion. And seeing how history really do repeat itself. Because <laughs> it does. It's the same energy. It just keeps playing out through different players and shit. Alright. Thanks sis. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate that though. It just it keeps doing the same shit over and over. Until the mental of it all. Which is a higher peak of you know, energy going through that subconscious in a sense, okay, rises up out of it. You begin to navigate through these same characters, different roles. Would you believe that consciousness, source, not conscious, but source, is 100% aware of self? Mm -hmm. Ain't no more sleeping giant. None of that happening. The beast is not asleep. The beast is awakened. Alright. And it's going to keep fucking surfacing. Because of the shift of the energy that we have revolved into. So with this energy and seeing that shit there and just my perspective on humanity at that time was definitely sadness. I cried a few times in that trip. A couple times. Definitely was a lot of sadness in good ways and in bad ways but in most definitely in good ways the sadness was not just uh you know a mad or anything it was definitely in a good way of of seeing the truth and understanding i mean i, I these people i know I, they look i know they look at a lot of voodoo they still do a lot of uh, giving, you know, when they go to the uh, the grave sites, there's like um, candles and stuff like that, you know, uh, fruit to give back to the ancestors. That stuff is still heavy in New Orleans. It's still heavy there. So I can understand the heaviness of connections with Marie because at the end of the day, felt that because I be mad itself what the hell I thought I evolved some certain energy and spirits we do evolve mentally of not doing the same shit like when you you see fire you, you, you don't see it, it all the time but you know not to touch that shit no more you know not to go near it alright we grow out of those you know those things but we still are aware of those experiences but we don't still see that shit play out you know, we still gonna see it, but you just more and aware of it. Cause I know I'd be like, God damn, I just did this. Like, why am I doing this again? But everything is all about anger to, to, uh, all, everything is about anger, chaos to evolve. But uh, they still do a lot of rituals there, and I can understand why that. Marie Laveau, um, is definitely honored as damn near a god. 
Okay, and Nova. Okay? I can understand why. But I'm just here to tell you, it's just an, another illusionist of energy. Okay? Playing this motherfucking role. Alright? And still trapping a lot of people in that mentality. Alright? Instead of really being freeing in a sense, you're still entrapped. Alright? Still depending on something outside of self. Even if you understand a certain level of understanding with the ancestors and still putting out, you know, gifts and stuff, it's still a sense of entrapment because you're still depending on that. You know what I'm saying? And when you solely are free from this experience and seeing beyond the flesh, the image, and all of that shit, you realize it's just what it is and you just have to be. All right? You have to keep moving. It's nothing more, nothing, you know, nothing more than that. We make it more than that, of course, but just understanding, like, this shit is just. We really floating in this motherfucker, okay? This this dark abyss of nothing, okay? But it's just, we create so much mentally, even with that whole religion acceptance of that, which is relying on something outside of self, all right? Religion doesn't have to be Christianity because that is still heavy there. Also in NOLA, okay? Catholics and all of that. But religion, like I've said before, is just anything that you you use in this experience to carry you through. And a lot of people stay stuck on a lot of shit. Rituals is one of them. Voodoo is one of them. And not understanding the true power that you possess in this shit. It's beyond the fucking ritual and beyond that fucking flesh or the image that you're trying to appropriate into this motherfucker. It's the reason why my connection was the way it was. I believe it. Because I don't believe in this shit no more. I don't have a connection with creating rituals to bring certain things. Now, some things I still do because I understand the power of self. Okay? The source. But I don't depend on it in a way to do harm to people because that brings harm back to self or to bring abundance to me in a way because I attract what I need not what I want which is a hard pill to swallow in self okay I attract exactly what I need not what I want because the things that I want don't last forever. And the things that's wants is just pretty much desire. And they don't even last forever either. But I'm going to say this. And I'm going to probably pretty much get out of here. Me and Ty going to have to come back and do a part two. Because he had a lot to say with this too. And it's some of the stuff I didn't want to say without him. But... Massive healing really need to transpire in that place. I felt that deep, deeply in me. It is definitely a powerful source of energy in NOLA. Uh, even with the name Orleans right quick. Even with the name Orleans and you find the Orleans spelled with the A. And even when you connect that name it goes to Zimbabwe, which is a goddess. And if you research that, you'll find this goddess statue in the middle of the uh, Mediterranean Sea. All right. And how powerful this goddess is because it is of a color descendant as well. But it's just so powerful. A lot of the crimes, a lot of the shit, a lot of the pulls, the government, all of that shit has a strong pull from feminine energy. 
I bet you a lot of women control a lot of things in NOLA. On all levels. On all levels. Not just politically, but all levels. Especially household. You know, which we know that from just massively as of all of us as a whole. But healing definitely needs that energy definitely needs a major transition of healing. It does. It needs a healing. When I mean heal, I mean truth has to be exposed there. Truth has to be faced there. Yes, yeah, that, that energy was so thick and beautiful at the same time, though. Thick and beautiful at the same fucking time. I mean, once you go there, I can see why people don't want to leave because the energy is definitely home. It's giving you that home energy. But even within the home, the roots of shit, there are major things that needs to be taken out. Mad at the wrong people. You got to be mad at yourself, yo. And that's definitely what I picked up there, too. You, we, they mad at the wrong people. It's self that put you there. Black people are mad at the wrong people. They don't like when I say that shit, but that's the truth. Mad at the wrong fucking people. Shit, I'm mad too. Just knowing that. I'm mad just knowing that. Mad at the wrong damn people. And the whole time we push them and point the fingers. <sighs> Baby. You the one gave the keys. You the one taught, okay, light to be human. Okay? Just like every being here. And that's supposed to be in a free state for colors. Marie them had slaves too, but even with the word slaves, I found you know just in, in, interesting because they had slaves too. But slaves are workers, workers. It's just workers, so it definitely makes sense. Also, when kind of they say you know we were never slaves because you are worker when you're working today. That is the slave that's being confined to the physical experience. Healing. I don't know how that's going to happen, but healing definitely has to transpire there. And, hey, and, and until it is, healing can also be destructive. And when I mean the destructive means taken away. Like that, that whole plane can be gone. All right? And it's all because... It has nothing to do with the light people. It's all because you just don't want to look at the reflection of self. I understand that the intent indigenous people really got a control a lot of control in all of this. They they do have the control in all of this shit as well. Little Draco. <laughs> hey girl. <laughs> you know what I mean? I know we give the indigenous people so much honor. Be your own fucking people. Be your own. They be, they be the own, that own person. Right up. Mm-hmm. Be your own people. How do you think they got guns? I 
think they got guns? How do you think they got shelter? How do you think they got boats? How do you think they got anything that flow in this motherfucker here? Mm-hmm. When they come to realization with that and no love, which is, it don't take everybody. It just takes just a certain a good a bit of energy to shift into that. It don't take every damn body. But it just has to happen now. And I definitely believe it will. But I definitely was choked up seeing the war. And it was all because of a woman. And that shit had me speechless, had me choked up, had me feeling emotional, had me understanding this shit just re it's just repeating. This is this 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 energy. <laughs> now I can understand why they say that that shit is evil when they re try to reflect that it's evil. Because to know that that shit has always pulled the strings. <laughs> It don't matter what it's be and what it is. Nothing is coincidence. Nothing is happening for no reason. <laughs> I don't know, y'all. I just wanted to talk to y'all about it because you know I was talking to a couple people, my sis, my bros, okay, about it, and I just been letting this marinate for a minute because. I know I was going to be talking about a certain wo a woman in included, and I did not want to hurt nobody's feelings about that because your journey is your journey. Okay? Don't let nobody else tell you different. Um, just like my journey is my journey. And when I see something that's above that shit to me or just not, I'm not in tune with and what it really is, I'm definitely going to, you know, voice voice it. If need to be. And I definitely had to get this out. That's why this energy ain't never left. Because it had to be put out. I definitely feel. Also in knowledge. That they didn't put the chains on you. You put the fucking chains on yourself. There is a statue we went. And we seen. That was with the colonizers. As they called them. And the priest with the Bible, um, and then the indigenous, which is the Indian, sitting down in chains. Very, very powerful um, statue. A lot of people probably wouldn't understand what it is, but it definitely understands, understand that it does deal with religion. It does have a connection to the colonizer, which is the ones that was fighting over the land. Okay? And the indigenous person. Okay? Being in changes, which is just being tied to the land. Being in change, which is really just being tied to the land. And allowing... Alright. Another uh well, other people to be in somewhat control over it. Even that is an illusion. <laughs> Quite made you believe it was. I mean people they probably think they believe they, they own it, but you don't own it. It's just always just been that illusion. But maybe controlling the evolution of land there, okay? We just say that. Because that's just what it is. But when it comes to it being solely that person's or they own that land, not in ownership to none of that, it's the indigenous energy within all of us that's tied to the land. 
So your reparations came in many formations. Okay. Yeah, we can control the land on a different level. Okay. But you got to understand what you played and then what kind of game that you created. Well, source created. Okay. Because we just reflections of it. With source created. Only to revolutionize uh, the energy. And it ain't nothing. That the Russians, the Italians, the Greeks, the Voodooists, the Creolas, none of I'll take Creola back, sorry. But Voodooists has to do with that. Because mm -mm. I feel like it's a story that's connected to her as, you know, that she made it happen and type of shit. No, she didn't make it happen. And I don't know if y'all gonna... She didn't make it happen. Your belief did. The belief back then did. We have all this land is Moorish. All of this shit is Moorish, indigenous. It's been here forever. It's still you, this energy is still in control. Just made you believe that something else was outside of you that was controlling this motherfucker, and it's not. But yeah, I'm gonna get out of here. If you ain't never been in NOLA, go. Experience yourself. Self. Don't take my word for it. You know, just go experience it yourself. And you're going to have a great time. I'm, you're going to eat good. You know, when you get to going around and observing the symbols, you know, in the city, you know, on the uh, buildings, you know, the uh, statues, you know, stuff like that. Yeah, let me know what you think, because divine feminine energy is all through that shit on it, and controlled a lot of shit. That's why I got my little root stuff, you know, my little, you know, when you do that stuff, but I got my little hoodoo stuff on, you know, my voodoo stuff. <laughs> Because it's all about illusionists, okay? It's just illusionists. Okay? You're just illusionists. I'm sorry. But that's just what it's giving for me. But overall, the land is powerful as fuck. It needs a little healing, of course. And that's going to take course as, you know, time goes on. But if you ain't never been, go experience it. It's definitely a beautiful experience. It's definitely breathtaking. And you probably ain't going to want to leave, okay? You probably not. You probably ain't going to want to leave, though. But definitely just, yeah, put it on your bucket list to go. Don't just go for Mardi Gras. Go to experience the connection of the land. Don't just go down there for Mardi Gras now. Just go. But I'm going to get off here, y'all. Um, I will be doing the uh, lecture tomorrow uh, for the seven levels to divine mind. So I will get with y'all, ladies. Tomorrow around the regular time for that. I think it's 4 o'clock. But <clears throat> I will see y'all tomorrow on that. But definitely me and Ty be back with a part 2 of this. Because we got some more shit to spill. Okay? And he must have went to sleep or something. So. And yeah. I'll see y'all on the next one. Love, peace, and oneness family.